Well, there's only a few days left before the Olympics, but it isn't too late for businesses to uh, work, work through a little list of things that they can do to make sure that this Games is profitable to them, that, it, that actually they uh, take advantage of having millions of people in London uh, for this fantastic summer. The first is to check the information we put out. Get ahead of the games.com has every piece of information that a road or public transport user would need um, in order to plan in advance. Uh, consider what that information says. It talks about hotspots, it talks about avoiding central London uh, on busy days up to and including uh, the games days, avoiding the ORN, avoiding uh, uh, around the venues uh, and hotspots on the public transport system. So all that's available, consider how that might affect your business. Then clarify with, the, with your staff, with, the, with uh, your suppliers, with the people you supply, how that uh, will make a difference and consolidate that information into uh, working arrangements that will actually work for your business. Um, communicate it, really important. We know lots of businesses have planned already. Now is the time to tell your staff what you're expecting them to do if it's different. Um, and last of all, but very importantly, don't chance it. Don't think that people on the first day of the Games, Monday the uh, 30th of July, will just go about the city as normal, because they won't. There are a million extra people here. It's the world's biggest, biggest sporting event. A bit of planning now will make a difference between um, misery and, uh, and, and congestion and actually having a successful Games, business doing successfully, uh, London having a wonderful summer.